Today is March 10th, 2023, and I'm Ricky Gaspard, and I'm not a broker. I'm not affiliated with a broker. I'm simply a guy that trades from his office at home. So through the years, and I've been trading since 1990s, uh, been through a lot of indicators and stochastics and oscillators, and they all work good, but I needed something that was faster, something I didn't have to scroll through an entire watch list for every stock to try to find the right one. So I created my own watch list indicator. What that indicator does is notifies me if a stock is moving up or down, and it does this instantly. So it's measuring volume movement, volume spikes, price movement, etc. So you see on the screen here, stocks are popping up. This one's going down. This one may go up, may not go up. It's a very small percentage. This one's got a 1%, 1.4, and it's rising, 1.19, 143. 315 so there's buyers on this stock and let's go over there and check it out I have multiple monitors so it's going to take me a second to switch back and forth so this is the stock that was on the watch list and sure enough it's moving up so this has allowed me to make most of my profits during the day without having to go to each watch list and monitor each stock in each watch list. And I have multiple. I, I like the nine moving average crossing the 20 moving average and the histograms changing from red to green. I, I've done all of that myself. I use this along with several indicators, which would be the nine and the 20 or the stochastic, you can use it with what you prefer. And it works well. It, it It's definitely a great thing to have. My decision was to give it away. I've used a lot of scripts other people have created and they've helped me through the years. So I, I'm paying it forward. So the script was pretty hard to put together because the the scans in Thinkorswim, they refresh every five minutes. Well, I didn't want my indicator to refresh every five minutes. It needed to be live as it happens, and I've accomplished that. So what you need to do, or I'll just show you what I've done. here in my scans I created a scan with two filters the price I like to trade and the, the minimum volume I'd like to use and then I go over to my market watch tab I select that watch list Since I have multiple monitors, I just detach the watch list over here where it says detach and I drug it over to another monitor. Makes it easier for me to just look from left to right. So you can create multiple scans or monitor any of your current scans with this. Uh, it's not an indicator, I guess. It's an, al an alert and it will alert you on every one of the scans you're watching. So let me switch back over to the right monitor. And you can see this stock is up at 8.83%, now 9.38. So there's buyers on this stock. It may not go far, but it's moving. So it's a good way to monitor all of your watch lists. So I can just go here, go to my personal watch list, and I can watch, for instance, the nine moving average 
crossing over the 20 moving average. And it takes a second to load because it's doing a lot of calculating. And I can see in this column if the stocks are moving up or moving down. So this one's a little bullish. So if I clicked on it and went over to my chart, it's going to be showing me the 9 moving average across the 20 moving average, and it's moving up slightly. Now this one's popped up. So you can change to any of your watch list, and instead of having to click on every one of the stocks, you can just wait for something to pop up right here, and then go take a look. So you can quickly monitor all of your scans to see what's happening, what's moving, what's not moving, what's up, what's down. It's loading pretty fast. Some of them, I don't know why they take so long. I guess it's thinkorswim. But I like to sort my scans by percent gain. If you want and you prefer, you can come over here and everything that's red or green will pop up over here. But I prefer it this way from descending down from the highest gain. And as they pop up, I will monitor them. You can see the red ones are moving down. This one might move up. So what's going to happen is if even one single person makes a purchase that affects the stock price or the volume, it's going to show your percentage. So there's a, probably a couple of people trading this stock. What you look for is all of a sudden this percentage will take off and it'll go 1%, 2%, and the buyers are on that stock. You need to get over there, take a look at it, and make your decision to buy or sell. So it's easy to load the, the alert. So let me get back over to the screen. And I use the market watch, watch list, and then I select which one I want, what I want to watch over here. So this market open is the first scan I showed you. I'm not going to show you how to build scans. That's not the purpose of this video, but it's just to show you the indicator or the alert. So on my market open, it's all of the stocks that I want to watch. And I've only selected the top 50 because that's what fits on my screen. And the, then I sort them by percent change, highest to lowest. So, if you don't know how to customize a custom watch list column, you go to this little gear icon here and you click on it and you click Customize. I've posted the script down below. You need to copy it to your mouse. And you go over here and look for Custom. You're going to have a list of custom scripts, I guess you could call them. And you move one over to here and you click on this little tablet and it pops this window up and you paste you delete what's in here and paste the code that I provided below up here make really sure that you change this to one minute I called mine stock alert you can call yours whatever you want and then you click OK and it's going to probably be down here for you and I like to move it up here by the price. Of course, I leave mine on mark and mark percent because this thing is dynamite on pre-market. You'll never miss a pre-market stock moving. If you create a pre-market scan, select up here in pre-market, your pre-market scan, you're going to know instantly where everybody's buying. And it's real easy to make profit. Even during the day, as bad as this market is, you can just monitor all of the stocks. I prefer the top 50. That way, we're not trying to load the whole market. 
And even in this bad market, you're going to see the ones where the people are buying or selling. You can use it to go long or short. It works in both directions. So anyway, that's what I've created. And I like to say to pay this, I'm paying this forward because I've had many other scripts from other people that have helped me through the years. But I just needed something that was instant, live data, and that would notify me the minute something happened, or I should say the second. Because I'm a scalper, day trader, and that's what I like to do. And this has helped me to come, become very profitable. I hope you enjoy it. The script is down below. Comments are welcome. And I appreciate everything I have received from the past from you guys.